That's what I'm talking about, man. I've been doing a lot of traveling recently. Uh, I recently went to go see my little sister. She was graduating from the University of Mizzou. I'm proud of her. Y'all give it up for her. <laughs> didn't want, I didn't want to drive down there because it was, it was just a long drive. I was like, you know, I'm going to find a cheap flight. So what I did was I went on Priceline. I found a flight for 100 bucks. I'm like, that's a pretty good deal. Print my itinerary out. And the airline says, Air Choice One. That shit sound like some fake Nikes, don't it? <laughs> what the hell is those? Yeah, don't worry about it. I get to the airport early because I never heard of this airline before. So I get there, I see somebody that worked out, I said, excuse me, uh, man, could you tell me how to get the Air Choice One? And she pointed, and she was like, yeah, just keep walking till you can't walk no more. So I started walking through the airport, and I knew I fed up when I passed Spirit. <laughs> The people at Spirit be like, where the hell are you going? <laughs> Ain't nothing good that way. So I get to the kiosk for Air Choice One. Lady comes out, hey, I'm going to St. Louis. She was like, St. Louis? I said, yeah. She stamped my hand. <laughs> no. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get no board pass. She said, no. <laughs> Go ahead, get the hell out of here. <laughs> so, so I took my hand stamp to TSA. And I'ma say this, TSA like a one night stand, ain't it? You get the TSA, they start talking real smooth to you. Yeah, take them shoes off, yeah. yeah take that belt off, you don't need that belt. Yeah. You got change in your pocket, get rid of that. I'm about to scan your body. And when it's all over, you holding all your shit, they're like, get the out of here. You're like, what? Get your shit, go ahead, get up out of here. You're like, what well, did? But I did everything you asked me to. You in the hallway putting your pants back on. I thought I did. I make no damn sense. Get to the terminal for Air Choice One. Usually get to the terminal, people sit down, they're waiting for the plane to hit the jetway. I get to the terminal for Air Choice One. It's a brick wall with a door, line of people, lady with a clipboard standing. I walk up, she like, Calvin, Calvin Evans? I say, yeah, that's me. She said, we almost left you. <laughs> I get in line, we go through this door. We go down two flights of stairs. We end up on a tarmac. I'm excited because in my mind, I found some secret Priceline private jet shit where they're like, if you go on a short distance, we're gonna put you in, we're gonna send you there in style. You surprised, right? And I was wrong because we start walking towards this plane, and the only way I could describe this plane is this was the plane the Wright brothers was like, yeah, I think we figured it out. Like this, <laughs> that's how old that plane was. Yeah, yeah. This was one of the planes with the propeller on the front, you gotta start it with your hand. <laughs> this white chick was like, I gotta, I gotta call my dad. She walked off, never came back. I never seen the kid. <laughs> I have to call my dad, bye. Usually get on a, on a, on a, on a commercial flight, and get above the clouds, make you feel like you're in heaven, right? This plane, this plane got up just high enough and flew along the expressway to St. Louis. No bullshit, 55, we took 55 all the way to St. Louis. It was Air Megabus, that's what it was, it was Air Megabus, it was just flying. I swear I saw the pilot just looking at people, he's looking at the signs like, yeah, we about three more exits, we gonna be there. I don't even know if you could drive a plane like that, but he was, he was like, yeah, we gonna be there. Get out that plane, I ain't never hugged so many white people in my life. Hey, come here. Come here, Susan, we went through something, come here. There's more funny where that came from. Subscribe right here, right now, and you won't miss another laugh.